this YouTube video has 4 million views. Now this one right there, 1.3 million. Now what if I told you that by using ChatGPT, another AI software called Pick3 AI, you can have these videos generated within just 10 minutes without any experience in video editing and they still are good quality. Would that be great? The answer is yes, of course. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step how you can generate these videos step by step. Starting off at step number one, which is signing up for a Pictory account. I'll leave a link in the description down below so that you can get a free trial. With that, you can turn a script into a video. So click right here and then paste in your script. Now I've prepared this script right here about what you can do in Amsterdam, which is once again, a video that right here gets 1.3 million views or 100,000, half a million, another 100,000, AKA a ton of views. Step number two, paste that script right here into Pick3 AI. Step number three, make sure that you create an outline like this instead of keeping everything at once. Reason for that is because Pick3 AI is gonna generate captions automatically. So if you have very long sentences, the captions are gonna be very long. So make sure you split it up so that it looks nice and not too long, just like this. Once you're done with that, you wanna click proceed. You wanna choose a template. Now, there are so many templates out there what I recommend you do is just cut out all the noise, just scroll down, go to subtitle yellow, click select, and that's the one you'll use. Reason for that is because people are familiar with yellow subtitles, as well as all the other templates on Pick3 AI. Honestly, they're not that great for YouTube videos because they block out a lot, of, uh, a lot on the screen, which is not really um, optimal. So instead of that, choose subtitle yellow or subtitles fin, which is the simple white subtitles. Now what it's then gonna do is gonna create your storyboard. Now you might be like, what's a storyboard? Well, here you go. Your video now, hypothetically, is done. It only took you two minutes to make a video, right? So you can use ChatGPT for script writing, for example. You can then put that in and you're done. Yes and no, right? I'll explain why. So yes, you're done, as in the video is now fully built and you can render it and then you'd have a video. The thing is, not all the time are they gonna choose a correct clip in the background. So Pick3 AI is an AI video editing tool that's linked up to a software called Storyblocks, which is a uh, stock footage platform, which usually costs $30 a month. I'm actually paying that because I use this for a few of my faceless YouTube channels. You can see $30 a month. Pick3 AI has that embedded into their platform, which is cool because if you need a clip, for example, this case about Amsterdam, you can click on visuals, you can search for anything you need, for example, Amsterdam, and you're gonna get clips in Amsterdam. You can choose all of these and use them in your video without getting into trouble, which is pretty, pretty cool. What you would then do is continue to edit and build out your video, scene by scene. So on the left-hand side, you'll find scene one, two, three, four, five. What you do, you click on the scene, you check whether the clip they've selected is good or not, and then you change it if you want to. So all of these are good. This one, not too great. There are three lines of text, which I'm gonna change. I'm gonna put this at, let's say, 24. You always wanna stick to two lines, as that's what people are used to. If you put like five lines of text, they're gonna have a hard time reading it. Next up, we need to change the picture or the video. What I'm gonna do is type in Ajax, because we're talking about Ajax here in the script and then I can choose any of these clips. Now this is Storyblocks, so they're not gonna have actual game footage, but what I'm gonna do instead is upload a picture. You can do so by going to Google, downloading it, or just uploading any file on your PC, as you can see right here. I've done this before, I've used Ajax before, because I actually made this video, so I'm gonna click Visual Zoom and Pan, so that it fits the entire screen, and now we have a picture of Ajax in the video. I can click Preview and see what that looks like. That's exactly what we want. Next up, I'm gonna go to scene number four, and that's how you continue to do this scene by scene to create your video. Now here's a quick tip. What a lot of people do, and what Pick3 AI does as well by default, is they'll link a clip based on the captions. So I'm talking here about revealing secrets, and they're gonna put a clip like this, which of course is not that great. So what I'm gonna do instead, go to visuals, go to library, and I'm just gonna keep it at the main topic. And that's what a lot of people don't do, they go too literally based on what is being said. I'm just gonna add a few clips about Amsterdam, and there we go, that looks nice. Go to story, go to number four. Did you know that in Amsterdam there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12.5K bicycles? First of all, I'm gonna split this up. So if these sentences are still too long, you can click split scene, and there you go. As you can see, this is now one line, 
and these are two lines, which is pretty good. Now what happens when you do that is that these two scenes are linked. So if you have the clip here, the same clip will be used on scene number six. So you can unlink that right here. And by the way, if you wanna know every single little feature, I've made a full free YouTube tutorial video about the entire platform that is Pictory AI. I'll leave a link to that video down below. You can watch it for free. Next up, what I'm gonna do is go to the next scene. I don't like this one, so I'm gonna go to visuals. I'm gonna use the actual garage that we're talking about here. Once again, I've uploaded that picture, and there we go. Go to the next one. There we go, it's called the Feeds Flat. Now this is indeed that picture that I used, so I'll use it again on here. Perfect, then I'll go to scene number eight. With so many bicycles around, it's no surprise Amsterdam is known as the bicycle capital of the world. You can see, once again, way too much text. So I'll do this, I'll click split scene, bicycles. So I'm gonna go back to library. I'll type in Amsterdam bicycles. You'll find pretty much any clip here on Storyblocks as they've got so much quality footage. So what I'll do, I'll use this one, some action, people actually cycling here in Amsterdam. That's cool to see. Go back to story, click right here, the bicycle capital of the world. I'm gonna change the size, keep it at two lines. Perfect. Put it in the center. You can use this tool as well. Boom, there we go. Go to visuals. Let's do Amsterdam cycling. There we go. Ton of people. This one looks cool. You can scroll down. A lot of people bicyc bicycling, cycling, my bad guys, right here. I'm actually from the Netherlands, so this is pretty accurate footage. Um, a lot of people and in the Netherlands in general, we do indeed use bicycles everywhere. We grow up with it. So now it gets interesting. Here's the funny part. Once again, I can add like a funny clip, but it's better to just add a clip about Amsterdam to keep it within the main topic. It's gonna be much better, just like that. Legend has it that the garage is so massive that some people have actually gotten lost in it. I'll change this, try and get it to two lines, see if it's possible. Yes, it is. I'll remove the comma, just like that. And you can see, you can see where this is going, right, guys? You can see that you can build this video step by step. All you have to do is click on all of the scenes, change the clip, and you're done. Now, I will show you the end result about a video that I made about Amsterdam with Pictory AI at the end of this video so that you can see the quality. What I wanna do as well is show you how you can add a voiceover, which you can do through the platform itself or through any other like tool, your own voiceover, whatever it is you want. You can do so by clicking on audio, click on voiceover, and then you can choose here. You can filter all languages, male, female, and then the speed. Now what I recommend you do, and that's the one I usually use, is Ayanda, which is a female voiceover with a South African accent, but it sounds really cool. And it kind of has like that documentary voice, which you'll see at the end as well. So for these kind of videos that are so like purely based on B-roll footage with a voiceover that explains a story, this voiceover is pretty good. Now you do have to consider that Pictory AI has a few different plans. So whether you have the plan or not, Maybe you can use it, maybe not. So with a free trial, you can use it, but you're very limited as to how much you can generate. I myself, I have got the premium plan. Now I can leave a link in the description down below to a free trial for you, as well as a discount code that gets you 20% off any plan on Pictory AI in case you wanna use this to create videos. But once you click applied, now what they now do, which is why I like this software a lot, they automatically sync the voiceover that you just applied to the script so you don't have to change this anymore or anything like that saving you a ton of time compared to manual editing or any other tool on the internet because normally you have to create the script get the voiceover done before you start editing load in that voiceover start finding clips on the internet download the clips then open the software again import the clips put them in the right place change the the sizing or what add zoom ins whatever it is that you want to do which normally just takes minutes up on minutes per scene whereas here it is done automatically so all you need to do in case it's not good for example this clip i can continue to use this one i like that but this one i just click visual i upload it click boom done let's say this one visual search a clip click done it's so convenient and so fast to get one video done now then once you're done building out your entire video you have to render it which you can do at 1080p click at 1080p then make sure that as landscape optimize generated video for size click right there then click download, 
and then click video and it's going to render your video. Now, as soon as that is done, you have just created a full video, just like this one, for example, that is decent quality. It can perform well within just a few minutes by using AI and clicking on a few buttons. Now, I'm about to reveal the end result of this video that I created, but I do want you to know that I have a review about Pic3 AI with all of my thoughts about it. It was with as well as a full platform tutorial, as well as a coupon code and a free trial link in the description down below. Whatever it is you're looking for for pic 3 i I've got all of it. Check the links in the description down below in case you wanna sign up. With that being said, I'll leave the final video to you right now so that you can see the quality level that you can generate with pic 3 ai within just 10 minutes. Amsterdam, the capital city of the Netherlands, is located in the Western Netherlands within the province of North Holland. Along with The Hague, Amsterdam plays a significant role in the governance of the country. With The Hague being the location of much of the Dutch government. While Amsterdam is the economic and cultural heart of the country. Famous for its artistic heritage. Amsterdam boasts an elaborate canal system and narrow houses. With gabled facades that serve as legacies of the city's 17th century golden age. The city is widely regarded as one of the greatest small cities in the world, and its museum district is home to world-famous attractions, such as the Van Gogh Museum, the Rijksmuseum, and modern art at the Stede Lake. Due to its extensive canal system, Amsterdam has minimal road traffic, and visitors will find that their destinations are never too far away. Cycling is an integral part of the city's culture, and there are numerous bike paths that you can explore. With its picturesque canal network, rich history, and vibrant cultural scene, Amsterdam is one of the world's most unique and fascinating city destinations.